hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is Ziki Akungola speaking so in today's video i have something i want to share with you and it's about this duplicate trustee uh duplicate uh, proprietors currently showing up this is a major issue and major disaster now in the video you're about to watch i walked through a particular process and the disclaimer is that don't try anything in the video until when you are done watching the video there's an important disclaimer in the video that i need you that's why i have to record this after making the video so that you can watch the video through to the end it's just a 14 15 minute video watch it through to the end before you go ahead and practice anything so that you will not um, you know you not miss out on the juicy information there and as well on a disclaimer that i put in the video so without any further ado let's go into the video thank you all right my wonderful people good day welcome back to this channel welcome 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 this is Ezekiel Akingbola speaking. Let's talk about the current issue on the Corporate Affairs Commission, which is duplicate direct, um, proprietors for business name. Um, over time, we've moved from the issue of having um, ID card issues, right? And even though some people still complain that they still have ID card issues, I believe to, a, to the barest minimum that issue has been resolved and it has been, um, to an extent, been well uh resolved but i know some people are still going through that issue but it will take a while before it be completely um out of the way but right now the major issue we are having now is the duplicate in the details of the proprietor and what is funny enough is that those who use accredited agent portal are more or less having this issue more not that those using public as agent portal are not also having the issue it's a general issue for both accredited agent portal users and um public Port, um, portal users as well so let me walk you through how the problem looks like i've just made a video some 10 minutes ago and uploaded it to my channel i think the video is live now on what the problem is so let me make sure i emphasize and people understand what the problem is before we, i show you how you can resolve the problem so i'll be walking through how to resolve the problem as well in this particular video the previous video i just highlighted the error and the issue so after trying different ways and seeing some different options so that's what we are going to be trying in this particular video so watch the video to the from the beginning to the end subscribe to this channel give the video a thumbs up and make sure you click on the notification bell so that i can get notified whenever great contents like this comes out to be able to help you with your registration processes so um i'll be giving an example this particular registration light right uh, learn right tutorial center no personal information will be shared in this video because we um, sh we want to keep the details of our clients and customers safe, right? So what we do now, look at this particular registration. It has been reserved and this is the availability code. Now, before you, if you had any registration that you are doing, once you copy the registration, the, the name of the business and the availability code, once it is reserved, copy both and keep somewhere safe. And for me, I send it to the client. I send the availability code and the name of the company to the client immediately it is being generated so if you have a place where you keep those details as well notepad or something save it up we'll be needing it in this particular resolution as we try to resolve these particular problems right so i'll open a notepad and in the notepad i'll put these details there so i'm putting the details there Here's my notepad. Okay. I put in that's the name of the company. And I'll also be keeping the re reservation code, availability code rather there. So when I need it, I'll be making reference to it when it's time. So now this registration was actually approved. Let's go to business registration. You see how I went through the business registration process. Okay. Let's see the company information. Now here's the business registration, right? So you can see the details currently showing up. So all the details of the company is good to go, right? This is the name of the company. This is the address. These are just random details. This is the email address I provided and everything. And this is the commencement date of the business, right? So let's move on and let me show you another thing for the proprietor's details. So here are the details of the proprietor, right? Showing up here boldly. But the issue right now is that the details of the own, the accredited agent is also going to be showing you can see showing up here one and showing up here two let me show you what i'm trying to say you can see details of the proprietor showing up here and another one showing up here as well right so you're having two details of the proprietor showing up and this will make the registration process 
very very difficult because at the end of the day it will also be requesting for you to provide the details of the proprietor as well right this proprietor because this business is owned by the person of but these two details are not the owner of the business but because they are the accredited agent it is showing up here so what do we do to resolve this particular issue let me show you what will happen when you are trying to upload this particular document so when uploading the document here it's going to be asking you for the details of the proprietor you can see now the first detail of the proprietor has been provided already uploaded it is requesting for the other two don't forget it was showing up three proprietors yours might be showing up five um matthew the other one was showing how many seven proprietors and it's actually just one proprietor that owns the business the father is just a um a normal business name registration on the public account right so you can see it is showing up or asking and requesting for more you know more details of that so you cannot be uploading the detail of this person and this registration was actually queried based on that it was queried because okay this one is miss education okay the one, other one we had was queried because the details of the director uploaded does not include it's not complete the of provider was not complete so this is the problem and let's walk through how we can resolve this particular problem without stressing ourselves too much right so let's go back to the beginning of the whole thing don't forget i now this is resolution process now walking through the problem and what the issue is now let's see how we can resolve these issues so don't forget this is the same business we're trying to resolve for and what we want to do in this particular uh, resol resolution is first we have to come here and click on action and delete the availability code right delete the availability code click on delete availability code and click on yes delete now once you delete the availability code you wait for it to load but because the availability code is like a number that embeds all the informations of the registration you can see that it's showing no availability code as as at this point in time no availability code for because it has been deleted right so that means all the informations that have initially put into this registration is no longer available on it I believe you understand what I'm saying. So all the details are put in this registration is no longer available. So all the names, everything. So now this is how to proceed. Use a laptop. Don't use a phone for this particular process we are doing. Use a laptop, please, to make it easier for you. So don't come here again and click on. Uh, okay, you can see that I cannot even go to payment. You can, the only thing you want to do is just go to um, um, go to um, check payment and, or you delete the application entirely but that's not what we are doing since we have deleted the ability code, don't forget we backed up the ability code somewhere we just come to registration don't forget we have copied the availability code before now all we need to do is come to registration new registration and input the availability code don't forget i've copied it i'm putting the availability code here click on continue let's wait for that to load up now the availability code is still now it is bringing up a fresh registration for me to start afresh that means i have to put in the the company details email address company street name company city company state residence company street number street address and the commencement date of business so a commencement date of business i'll put today's date and i'll fill in these other details and then we'll proceed so guys um this now we have filled the company information. Now we are going to the proprietor's it. We are going to be putting in the email, the surname of the proprietor, the first name of the proprietor, the uh, other names of the proprietor, the phone number of the proprietor, the sex of the proprietor, the date of birth of the proprietor, the state of the proprietor. We're also going to be sending the um, local government address of the proprietor. Um, also, we'll be putting in the city of the proprietor number house number and also the service address and then we add the proprietor now you notice that now when you're adding it starts afresh right and then you'll be able to do so let me add the detail and then i'll click on save and continue and then we'll proceed because this is a practical work right so don't refresh this page just continue just the way it is so now that the detail of the proprietor has been properly added now the last part is to you can see that it's not showing up several directors it's just showing one um, proprietor rather it's just showing one proprietor right so i select proprietor go to the nin right and upload just the id card of the proprietor go also to the um proprietor's passport upload just the passport and also the signature and then click on add proprietor document so i'll do that right away and then we'll continue as well all right so all the documents for the um 
proprietor has been added i'll click on add proprietor documents which has been added here and it's saving up once it's done saving i'll click on save and continue to finalize the process so let's wait for it to load up and then we can find out okay so all is 100 percent i'm waiting for the id card to load okay everything you can click on view to view it the only issue is the id card the id card that the proprietors the person sent is not very clear it's a bit blurry so i'll just try it for this particular video but i believe you can see that now we only have one proprietor showing up no any other proprietor that you need to add name because you have deleted the availability code so this will be done sequentially whenever don't forget the availability code is saved somewhere i don't have to go to go to business to continue the process and don't refresh this page if not those details will come up back on right so i'll click on save and continue and let's see what's going to happen after i preview the registration so it's saving my registration details right now asking me to wait all right so i've been able to preview the registration details all i need to do is click on proceed and make, submit and make payment i've made payment before but it's not going to request for a new payment actually so you just make sure that you um hold on and you know you check what you're going to do right now um okay it's requesting for payment of, okay we've not paid for this have we paid let me confirm if we have paid for this before now it's not supposed to be bringing up payment at any point in time so now this is the issue here Please note that you will not be allowed to make payment around. Now, don't forget that if you had this method only works if you have paid for it. This registration I have paid for it before now, but right now I have to pay again, right? I have to pay again. So it only works for those who are just starting the registration, right? Which who, uh, who have not received any query. So this is a disclaimer majorly, right? Once you have this issue um, and you have made payment before. Now, I deleted the availability code for an already existing uh, business registration. Now, I'm feeling that the payment was also deleted as well. So, but I would, let me check. So, that means the payment is no longer in the system anymore. So, let's see. Let me look, search for it. Let me write. Let me search for it as well. It's showing the one that were just the last one. is the one it's showing for today. Not submitted right and i know if i continue application it will still show it will show the older old ones i'm not supposed to stop but i have to stop because of the payment issue now because i refresh you can see that it's now showing the writer's detail this one it's showing writer's detail and i've already deleted the availability code so i cannot my the the payment that has been reserved right the payment that has been reserved uh, or made on that particular availability code has been deleted so now i don't know what i'm going to do because this method only works for those who are yet to make payment so if you delete, if you have details of the proprietor or multiple proprietors showing right if we don't delete it once we delete that um, availability code i believe the payment on it also is deleted so that's the issue i'm having with this now now immediately, immediately i refreshed i went back come back now it's now showing the same issue that i was having before so what i have to do again is to delete the availability code because i have not paid now that's still fine so i'll delete the availability code and go ahead and make payment again so this registration now this is the second payment i'll be making because i've deleted the availability code so far i believe you understand what i'm trying to say so um this is a disclaimer majorly on all those i'll be deleting availability code don't delete availability code if you don't have you know if you don't have any other thing uh if you have no if you have made payment don't delete your ability code if not you have to pay double right you have to pay double for the whole process so i would stop this video right now because right now i have to go and pay for something i've paid before i believe you understand that right so um you know that's why when i when i'm carrying out a new process i love to record the process and you know, do a walkthrough so this should be a walkthrough i just hope people watching this video will not just go and watch and then start deleting availability code you might have to lose you might have lose money so uh maybe i'll put a disclaimer in the beginning of the video to those who are going to be watching this video so that it'll be easier and not to have any issue and so that you're not falling into the pitfall that i just fell into now Jumbulu, right so i'll be paying, making the payment later on today so this video is going to be very helpful to you guys so at least click on the notification bell yeah see i just lost money because of you click on notification bell yeah like the video subscribe to the channel that's the little the smallest thing you can do for us right we'll see you in the next video my name is Agumbola Ezekiel thank you and god bless you